So if you've just recently started content creation or if you've been doing it for a while, then you already probably know that sharing your content on all of your social media platforms is the best thing you could do for your brand to grow. For that reason, I'm going to show you how you could make a customizable social media pop-up alert um, which you could use on any of your social media platforms um, and it's super quick and simple to make. So we're going to jump right ahead into After Effects here, create a new composition, 1920 by 1080 p with a 5 second duration. Hit OK, select our rectangle tool, hit Shift as we draw a square and then click away, create a rectangle beside it. And this is pretty much the general shape that we're going to be working with. Select both of my layers, hit the letter S for scale and then I'm just going to scale both of them down to the desirable size. Uh, center it a little bit here you go so now i want this position to be at 10 frames not at the beginning so at 10 frames i move my um, indicator here and i create a position keyframe i select both hit p click the stopwatch over here and you can see the keyframes are created now i go back to zero i want my first shape layer to start at the bottom and my second shape layer to start at the top 10 frames they meet and then 10 frames after that, this square begins to move all the way here and it reaches this uh, position by one second. So I copied this keyframe of this position to 20 frames. So that way it's holding for 10 frames. And at one second, it moves all the way here. That's pretty much the concept here. And then it's gonna hold this position for one second. So I'm going to copy and paste that last keyframe. Now I want 15 frames later, I want it to move all the way across to the other side. So here's what we got so far, down, right, all the way left, and we're good to go. Hold this position for 15 more, sorry, for one second as well. So now it's one second on each side. I'm copy and paste this last position keyframe. And then 10 frames later, so we do not need to copy this one. Um, after we finish the one second here, we just move it back. Now we copy this position to 10 frames after. And at 20 frames after 4 seconds, this will go back up. Now, it's pretty much done for the square. Uh, sorry, for the rectangle. And now for the square, I'm going to put my indicator where the second last keyframe here is. I'm going to make sure my square is selected. Going to create a keyframe with this little diamond here and then at 20 i'm going to move it back down to where i started so this is pretty much what we got so far as you can see you can already tell where the reveal is for both of them so it's going to reveal two in the same animation so uh, i'm going to go ahead and import my logos right now i'm going to uh, make my twitch one invisible and I'm going to rescale my Twitter logo to fit into the square. What else I'm going to do uh, is pairing it to shape layer 1. From here, that way it follows the position. And then at 2 seconds, a little bit after 2 seconds, just when the bar is almost in the middle, I want my Twitter logo to disappear. And then we're going to make my Twitch logo visible again. And I want it to appear at this time let's make it smaller center it and then also we're going to parent it to shape layer one that way at the very end it goes away with this is pretty much what we got so far as you can see it's just a little flip so what i am going to do is i'm going to add an effect called linear wipe effect to my twitch logo and if we test this you can already see it's going the opposite direction I'm going to switch the angle to 90 and when this uh, square is on this side I want the transition to be completed so I'm going to create a keyframe here and go back a bit and then I'm going to create an invisible keyframe so that way it's just wiped out while it's passing through that is pretty much the concept for the whole thing um, you can Go ahead and try yourself at this point. What I'm gonna do here is just select all of them, pre-compose, move all of the attributes. Now make sure my pre-composition is selected and I'm at one second so I can see everything. Hit the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a mask just at the edges here. 
and that way I do not see the beginning and the end parts now it just looks like that all we have to do is add a tint effect onto the pre-composition so keyframes here for purple go back to Twitter keyframe here for white uh, sorry blue if I hit you here I can see a little bit of a gradient I can just play around with it we get a little bit smoother transition and this is pretty much what we got so far guys all you have to do is add your text with the linear wipe effect again just add one right here that wipes along with the square and add another one on this side what you will get is something like this pretty much that's all of it and as you saw it's pretty simple pretty quick i hope you try it out yourself if you do share it with me if you don't these templates will be available for you for free on my discord in the free templates uh, section so if you have any questions for me you feel free to hop into my twitch channel i stream on saturdays and tuesdays at 4 20 pm and until next time guys peace out